good rule to go over here. So this is similar to the power of tens here. So what is the power of one tens? Well, the numerator remains as one and the denominator has the same amount of zeros as the exponents. This is known as the power of 110. So we have one over 10 and we're gonna square it. So this will rewrite as one over 10 times one over 10, giving us one over 100. So 1 over 10 squared equals 1 over 100. Now let's go ahead and let's bump up the power by 1. And we're going to write 1 over 10 cubed or to the third power. So this will rewrite as 1 over 10 times 1 over 10 times 1 over 10 given us a final solution of 1 over 1,000. Now let's go ahead here to the next one, and we're going to bump it up by 1 again. So 1 over 10 to the fourth power. Well, this is going to rewrite as 1 over 10 times 1 over 10 times 1 over 10 times 1 over 10 giving us a solution of 1 over 10,000 notice how as the power bumps up by 1 1 zero gets added to the denominator so you're just simply here counting the zeros also keep in mind that the 1 remains the same one remains the same. All right, now let's give you another example here where we infuse a mixed number. So 4 over 10 times 3 fractional 1 third. And we're going to place these, this expression in parentheses and square everything. First things first, we're going to change the mixed number into an improper fraction. So 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 plus 1 is 10. So rewrite 4 over 10 times, excuse me, 10 over 3 and we're going to square put the uh put the two fractions in parentheses and square excuse me now let's simplify simplify here we notice that 10 goes into 10 one time so we'll scratch off the tens and rewrite a 1 and now we multiply we're left with 4 over 1 times 1 over 3 in parentheses to the second power let's not forget the second power there now we just multiply that's the next step here so 4 over 3 is our final multiplication within the parentheses. 4 over 1 times 1 over 3 equals 4 over 3, and we're going to square 4 over 3. Now that's going to redistribute as 4 over 3 times 4 over 3. And at this point, we just have to simply multiply, giving us a final solution of 16 over 9.